Um, welcome back to this new tutorial. I haven't done one in a good while. I've been crazy busy, but um, <coughs> with the recent addition of um, UDIMS, or the first implementation, anyhow, in the uh, Substance Painter 2.1, and also now um, in Max 2017, they've finally made UDIMS um, a viable sort of a workflow. <coughs> Whereas before you had to mess around with uh, composite maps and um, you know, it almost put you off the setting up that you have to do. But finally, in 2017, they've added the multi tile map, which makes it pretty much automatic. So, I thought I'd um, do a quick tutorial um, just to uh, show the workflow from Substance Painter to Max and how easy it is to, to set up now. Um, <clears throat> so, Max 2017 has added a lot of new tools um, in the Unwrap UVW modifier. It's still very buggy, and I'm still using 2016. But um, eventually, I'll, I'll I'll move across when when they sort out a lot of the bugs. But it's definitely not uh, production ready, as far as I can see. <coughs> so I've just unwrapped this asset as an example. Now it's not perfectly unwrapped or or anything like it. Um, I just did this to show as a demo, pretty much. So this button up here showed a multi tile in the dialog. If I turn that on, you'll see that <coughs> this is our default zero to one space, and it's u uh, one v one. And if I move out, you'll see that I've unwrapped this across five um, multi tiles or u dims. And um, this is uh, becoming more and more popular. Um, it's been around in film VFX for a long, long time with the likes of Mary and um, you know Mudbox and Zebrush also have multi tiles UDMs and now Painter has so it's only a matter of time now games are starting to implement the workflow as well and um, it, it's actually <coughs> you know very handy say you had a character here um, for instance you know all these are uh, that's all the body you just turn on element mode that's all the body that's all the tail, <coughs> sorry, the horns and, and spikes and things like that. And that's the legs, that's the tongue and the teeth and everything. And they're just bits and bobs, the tail and the inside of the mouth. Yeah, so as I said, this isn't laid out optimally or anything. But uh, you can obviously see the benefits of of laying a character out like this. So you might have like um, all your armor parts in one tile. Um, all your leather or clothing parts in another tile, um, your skin, like the head, arms, whatever, in another tile, or even the head in its own tile. And because you might be working with Substance Painter, <coughs> um, for unique assets like this, you can um, you can scale up or down different parts to gain more texture resolution because you can always just uh, tile stuff. Um, over in Painter and, and check in the viewport in, in real time while you're working so uh, the textile density isn't as important um, as it might be for other workflows um, say um, a tile and environment texture or whatever um, so this is quite flexible and as I say um, it's way easier now in Max to, to set up so that's enough uh, talk in Max and I just wanted to show this um, and so with the asset selected I'm just going to collapse uh, the unwrap bake down those UVs and now I'm just going to go to file export selected and uh, I'm just going to export them as squig ulim and I've already exported it so <coughs> next I'm going to open them up over in painter so into painter and file new select and there he is there so I'm going to select them and just make sure to uh, to tick this create a texture set per UDM tile. So as you can see now in Painter, um, it's imported those UDM tiles as texture sets, so um, numbered accordingly. Um, this is the way UDM numbering is usually done. So you can switch between these uh, or any texture set um, instead of um, the click through the list. You can. Uh, hold control alt and right click and you can uh, cycle through the way in zebrush you can hold alt and click on a sub tool uh, in the viewport to select it so it's just that's uh, just a quick way um control alt right click just to cycle through your texture sets or you can also obviously select them here 
in the list but you know sometimes your list might be down there or whatever and um, you just want to do it in the viewport so what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm just gonna go through these and all I'm gonna do is add a fill there and just um, put a different color on each texture set. I'm not gonna texture this or anything just for the demonstration I'll just put a different color um, on each of these texture sets um, so I'm gonna pause the video while I do that all I'm gonna be doing is um, select the texture set add a fill there change the color and then just rinse and repeat through the other texture sets so I'll be back in a second right so I've done that now and just um, added a color as I said I would to each texture set so we can visualize back in max so just another quick thing I wanted to note was um, you may notice that on this side um, any symmetrical um, items like the spikes here the spikes here the teeth and the claws and one of the eyes you know I left these out because um, I usually um, you can offset them to bake them and then uh, bring them back in but because you're using u dims here you can still offset them but you'd have to offset um, I prefer to you can still do it but I actually just prefer to bake and then just uh, mirror the object at the end and then um, flip the UVs if I need it depends what I'm doing but you can do either either um, offset the UVs out of zero to one because remember <coughs> you know paint are still going to only, only bake in zero to one so if we go into the UV view you can see here like we're still only you can only work in um, zero to one or what was one to one and max um, so you still have to cycle through your texture sets and um, now you can bake you, you have to bake each of these you can't bake UDMs all together in Painter um, there's plug-in for Max to allow you to do it um, but you can't do it in Painter so um, I find it just as easy to uh, not have to bother offsetting anything and just use the symmetry mod or mirror and uh, at the end when I finished baking and everything so I just wanted to make a note of that right so <coughs> let's say we've everything textured here and we're ready to go um, you can just right click and um, export textures and at the moment um, if you come over to uh, configuration you can see that Arnold has uh, a UDIM <coughs> preset and V-Ray has a UDIM preset and if I just select that UDIM preset <clears throat> the texture set is going to be at the end is going to be the UDIM um, number which Max or any UDIM program is going to need um, this uh, dollar sign and texture set <clears throat> so I'm just going to um, it doesn't really matter here for the for the demonstration I'll just select the uh, V-Ray UDIM and um, you can individually change all the UDIMs to have uh, higher or lower resolution on the fly and I'm just gonna uh, choose target 8 bits that's okay and then just choose where you want to um, so in this case I'll just go to that uh, where I had to just use this folder for test and stuff UDIM and that text folder for the texture select that and ready to go via UDIM and I'll just export just give it a sec and remember now <coughs> if I open the folder here you'll see that uh, you're gonna have um, each of your tiles so here's the fuse and um, because it's the V-Ray preset it's, it's um, you know gloss diffuse it's not the metal rough preset so you know it's giving you offline render and sort of maps to match up with V-Ray or Corona or Arnold or whatever so each of your tiles is gonna get its own map um, but not to fret because this will you can set all these up well you'll still have to set up each one like uh, glossiness normal map whatever diffuse but all six maps will be done in one as if you were just adding one map over in max as usual so just uh, don't get a fright when you open your folder and you've um, all these maps five maps <coughs> one for every tile right so with that done they're all exported um, I'll jump back to max and now all I have to do is um, press M 
to open the material editor and I'm just going to come to diffuse and this map here and the general maps um, if you just come down here to this multi tile this is new in Max 2017 I just want to turn off those vert display and now you can see here we've got ZBrush, Mudbox, um, UDIM and then Custom so as I said earlier um, you know ZBrush has its own way of working with UDIMs uh, this is Mudbox and UDIM here would just be for the likes of Mari or in this case Substance Painter so select that and you can set your viewport quality there and at the moment number texture is set to 1 and it's greyed out because there's nothing in here tile 1 so what we're going to do here is um, where is that? I'll just jump in here, and I'm just going to select the first one, uh, one zero zero one uh, of the diffuse, because this is the diffuse channel. And now you can see that it's automatically this was texture number textures one, and now it's automatically detected that there's actually five textures there. So if I apply this material. and show map and viewport you can see that our, um, it's exactly the way it was um, over in painter so that's all there is to it um, oops that's 2016 sorry so that's all there is to it um, what you would do then is um, this is all inside um, the diffuse map so if I come back up you can see that's in diffuse now this is just a scanline render so it's not V-Ray so but you still have your map channel so then let's say we were in V-Ray here then you just come in and add in your other map so you put a normal bump in here and then your normal map choose the first one inside uh, multi tile so you'll select your bump and put a normal bump in there and then put a multi tile in the normal bump and then select your first normal map and the same thing will happen it'll automatically detect <coughs> uh, the other UDMs in the set and then you just uh, repeat the same for whatever other maps you're using and that is pretty much it that's all um, that's all you need to do um, so I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful and I haven't been around for a while so I hope to be making um, get back up to speed of a bit going to have some time coming up I won't be as busy so hope to make some more um, tutorials alright then cheers thanks good luck